so I think I'm gonna tear into the Ranchero totally green no nothing mechanic simple operator looking forward to learning something very first thing I notice because my dad's not here to tell me the first step so I'm looking to see if I can just understand a few things I'm gonna change the carburetor and the thing that the carburetor sits on this thing I think is it the manifold anyway I'm looking in here and I'm like this feels floppy I mean and I'm like what is wrong with this so there's this thing that's the throttle or whatever choke and then there's this thing but I'm wondering why there's this screw here but it looks like this screw is supposed to screw in and press on something like has some sort of purpose more than just like decoration like an earring hanging there to look pretty um, so I'm gonna see what Mr. Hunnicky says this thing is all about why is this doing what is this first of all what is this it's the kick down for the automatic transmission like for going into passing gear so you step on the gas and and that says like that well the carburetor goes but that shifts the transmission into another gear based on what road speed you have and engine rpm okay so what why is this looks like a set screw doing looks like a screw that is used to adjust something but it's it's going nowhere oh so that when you step on the gas ha oh, humans are so smart well <laughs> So, so you could you could adjust this to engage this sooner. True. You're all I stepped on it and it didn't pass. We need to turn this screw. I get it. <laughs> this is mechanic stuff is easy. All right. Just like landscape. Mm -hmm. Just like tree work. So tell me my first. Uh, tell me my first. So I'm going to take this thing off okay. and I'm going to replace this with a different kind and I'm going to take this manifold off. Right. In order to take that manifold off it looks like I've got to take a bunch of stuff off. You think I need to take the hood off? No. No. Tell me what I should take off first. And and how do you keep track of all the little things you take off along the way? That's That's the intimidating part for me. Well, just put them in a box. You can you can put them in two different containers if you want. The stuff you take off the right side, or the passenger side, and stuff you take off the driver's side. Then uh, I need a box for the stuff in the middle. You could, yeah. <laughs> or one box that has three compartments. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, you can do that. Um, this um, well, this water hose and stuff will be okay. You gotta take this stuff off back here though. Um, that EGR valve. Um, Is an EGR valve something that's not gonna be hooked back up? No. It's not gonna go back up again. Well, you gotta replace these heater hoses too. I might have some heater hoses here. Cause he, this is a way to test a heater hose. If it's, when it's cool and hard, this one is just really hard right here. You're gonna have to drain the radiator though because you're gonna water passage is going across from head to head here you know across that intake manifold so that gets done first yeah i would drain the radiator um there might even be a well i know there's a block drain someplace but draining the radiator um we'll get it low enough i think i'm not real sure on that we might have to find a plug on the block and drain it too probably got to be careful you don't drop objects down into the Motor. In the valley. Yeah, right. You'll see there'll be push rods and the valve lifters and stuff down in there. Once you get that off, I'll explain that stuff to you. I drain the radiator first. 
and then undo these fuel lines, everything it takes to get the carburetor off of there. That'll give us a better look at the, at the front of this thing. You gotta pull the distributor too, and we can, we can roll it around and get it up on number one when the numbers of the cylinders will be on the manifold here. And this this is probably one right here. But normally you can tell even on a V8, see how this valve covers further ahead than that one? So this will be the number one cylinder on this side. There's probably a one on this intake here someplace. Hmm. No, it doesn't look further ahead than to me. Guess it is though, huh? It is, yeah. It's kind of like a People look at a tree and it, they just look like all the leaves are the same, but if you look close, they're not. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah, this or, is Do fun. they have motors where the valve covers were, are, or what are, what are these called, valve covers? Yeah. Where the valve covers are directly opposite each other in uniform? No, yeah, there might be on something, I don't really know. But that's number one cylinder over there. That one there, this is five. Five, six, seven, eight, and uh, one, two, three, four on that side. One, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. That's Chevy. I don't know what the firing order is on this one. Um, you know what? Do you have? Didn't I have a service manual? Here, did I give that stuff away? Your phone probably tells you though. I might have a Chilton manual up in there. I have some for the for the seventies trucks. That'll work. That'll work. Um, I got confused one time working on one on one in Alaska. My boss's boat had a Ford V eight in it. Well, his son actually, and uh, but it rotated the opposite direction, and I was changing something on it. Was the camshaft or the heads or whatever? But then I realized, hey, this thing, based on that screw in the back, the propeller, uh, this thing turns the opposite way. So it had a different, a different firing, firing order on the thing. But anyway, it's no big deal once you know what it is. Um, but anyway, get, I drain the radiator first, and then get the carburetor and linkage off of there. We'll, we'll pull it around till it's up the rotor space of number one cylinder. You tell me that later. Okay, okay. Drain radiator. I will look for plug. Okay. Just take the hose off the bottom of the radiator? You can. There should be a drain on the bottom of the radiator. Some little thing with I don't see any drain for it. First tool, giant screwdriver. I had to make a, a little partition thing so I can feel like I have some order since I don't know what any of those parts are. There, my first, my first thing I did. This is a bad idea for me to do this. I don't, I'm not going to remember all of this. How does that come off? Oh, boy, I, I played risky and I got her. Look at that. There's another piece. What is that? It's got to be air, huh? So this is some kind of little asbestos 
covered thing going right into the manifold. <laughs> Humans. They're so smart how they come up with all this stuff. This thing. No. This thing goes to something on the other side of the distributor. Whoop. Don't know what that would be. Some vacuum thing, maybe? That'll have to come off. Oh, look, it's got a plug. Okay, it's okay. Mechanic stuff is easy. These ones aren't even plugged in. close to oh, look at that was that even doing anything is this something I unplugged before if so what was it hooked to before do I care it was this Okay, so that some that goes into where the oil goes. So why would you need a line for going through the oil cap from the carburetor? I'm gonna guess it's some kind of vacuum or air. Uh, something that it, I don't know. Hey, Dad. Yes. What's this for? It comes out of the uh, comes out of the top of the oil cap and goes into the back of the carburetor. Oh, it's a PZP PVC valve should be in there. It's a positive crankcase valve. Unless this is a straight. Is this this one here? Yeah, it goes. It's vacuum. It's a vacuum line. That goes, where does it go up to that cap? Yeah. That's, in, this is a PVC valve in, on the other end of this thing, which just means positive crankcase ventilation. So there's vacuum here from being in the intake manifold, there's suction, and it opens that valve up, the suction does, and pulls the, um, well, the fumes from the, you know, that are generated inside the oil pan and inside the, well, the crankcase and stuff in there. Uh, it's an emission deal. They used to have a vent tube on them years ago. There was just a road tube that came out of the back of the motor, or the side of the motor, and it went down and, uh, you know, a little ways above the road, cut on an angle, and just the draft of the car going down the road pulled out that, you know, the, uh, I'll say the fumes from the, from the crankcase, you know, from the oil being all thrown around inside there. Is that but, is that so that you don't smell it in the car? No, it's it's a thing. It's to burn it up so that it doesn't have some degree of air pollution. And over time, if you can see, you can see down the highway, there's darkened areas when the roads were concrete. They're mm -hmm. darkened from the those fumes. They're actually at the well uh, above the cellular level. But anyway, it's uh, microscopic drops of oil. So you know, nowadays, not so much. No. Okay. No. All right. We will, will we need this on the other one? Yeah, because that still goes to your valve cover. And yeah. You have to have the positive crankcase ventilation. That you'll have. Gotta that. have that. There'll okay. be a place on there for vacuum to hook that up. Yeah. That came off of the driver's side first deposit. So now this kick down that, gizmo. That vacuum hose there when it opens up that valve. That forces those fumes from the oil pan and in, inside the crankcase to go be sucked into the cylinders along with the gasoline and burned up. Oh. How do you think I get this uh, kick down what's my thingy off? Let me see. Move your hand so I can see. It looks there. like it's got a snap ring. You know, there's a C-clip on there is what that is. I can't see it very well from this distance, but... 
No, it's it's a bigger thing on there. It's like a washer, but it's a C-clip. Don't worry about if it gets ruined taking that thing off because I have a whole collection of them, all different sizes. You mean you you take it off here? Yeah, well, there should be an open end on it. All right. Should Every be. time I, I mess with those things, they go into the next county. Okay, well, hang on. Okay, we'll get on this side and pry that up. See if there's an open end somewhere, and so then you pry opposite where the open... Let me get this out of here, you're going to get cut. This is a woodworking tool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see an open end. Okay. So then... So it's a snap ring. Right? Yeah. And you pry it off? Well... Oh, I got it without losing it. Good. That's once. This mechanic stuff is easy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the kick down thing is off. And I didn't lose the little... Clip. Clip. So what else is connecting the carburetor? Okay, the fuel line. Fuel line is still connecting the carburetor to the... Are. And I don't think I need this filter anymore. It just seems like it's too much. Dare I throw this away? Good spot for it. Unreal. I think I have it down to four bolts. Test your skills, YouTube. What size for the 400 to hold the carburetor on? Turns out, 7 sixteenths. Ah, Ford wants me to use a different wrench for this. Oh, I think I hear my bucket truck coming. Why is it all rusty right here? What's this powder about, huh? YouTube, what's that? Hmm? What is that? Is that where, like, water was escaping out the top of the block and or something? Why is it powdery? Why is it rusty? Why is there some kind of weird powder there? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Answer me. Okay. There's three bolts. The last of which is in here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Mechanic stuff, so easy. Can't believe they charge so much for it, huh? This is my first time, look at that. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Okay now, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first real organic response to what I've done. I don't know, okay. Probably don't need that, none of this anymore, right? Right? Try to save it in good tact for somebody who does. Now look. What's this, YouTube? Why is there... Why is there all of this, like, kind of exhaust-looking carbon buildup here under it? In here? Huh? Am I supposed to be careful to not drop anything down in there? I guess I'll keep this section for the old. I hear another Ford that works and a Ford operator. Nice truck. Thanks. Two bolts here for this. Um, I don't know. See, this is some of the stuff I don't know. Will this little route guide for the kick down and the throttle, will it match up to the new manifold? 
I don't know. I just know that this is the wrong manifold. Should I take this off? Will this go in the other manifold? close to being able to pull this off, I think. When you don't know anything, it's best to <laughs> take a picture of what it looks like before you take it apart, maybe? I don't know. This thing comes off, I think. And I think from my, I'm 50 years old, uh, I'm not a mechanic, but I think this is called the coil. Probably might be able to just pull this out of the way. It looks like the manifold might come off with me being able to leave this here. This is what it looks like. I don't know. Was I supposed to rotate this or something he said before I took this off? Hey, Dad! Was I supposed to rotate something before I took off this, or can I just take the cap off without trouble? The distributor cap? Yeah. No, you can take it off. Oh, wait, here, before you take it off. I already did. Well, let's see which is the number one wire. Be right here. The wire's in the front. So it'd be this one here. And it's going, you know, it probably even says on the cap which one it is. It's go It's right here. Is that it there? Yeah. Okay. So let's lift up the cap and see if the rotor's pointing that way. Here, you got stuff. I know, I don't know what well, here, just that fuel stuff. line is. All right. Okay, we just passed. Well, actually, it's coming to one because the, the way you can tell the rotation of the distributor, this vacuum advance chamber, mm -hmm. we can see that it is higher on this side, like this little arm that operates is going that way. Mm -hmm. So that's the rotation of the distributor. Now if we move the engine in its regular way, this engine would rotate that way according to the fan blade, right? And this distributor should come around, start coming around this way and line up with that. Uh, right here. Yeah. Line which is which is about real, where it's at now. Well, it's not. It's at nine o'clock right now. Okay, so I need to rotate this. No, I don't think you can with that. Uh, we need to get a wrench on there, or else just go in there and barely bump the starters like that, and we'll we'll watch the mm -hmm. distributor come around. The other way to do it is to have this number one spark plug wire out. Okay, too much info. Too much info. Yeah. I thought that's what this was about. No, just the right amount. <laughs> I don't have the keys in there. Anyway, why are we doing this? Because it looks like the manifold is not connected to it. Bear with me, bear with me. One of these should be marked. Yes, and it's probably that one. Now, let's watch that distributor and see if it goes that way. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I see it. I see it. That's good. That's enough. Okay. So you remove that bolt and pull that distributor straight up out of there. There's a bolt that looks yeah. like a... Hey, hey, stop. You'll have to take this vacuum line out of there too, but it'll move, it'll move. Don't bang the car with the wrench. Dada. Dada. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to get in to get that off. I don't know how to get to this one, man. It's well, I have a special wrench that reaches down into it. It's got in one of these four toolboxes. And a little wire. Let me see if I can find it. Guess I'll keep trying. And... Dad! Oh, cool. Yeah. That's... Can you turn this? No, that just holds it together. You can take it apart. Yeah. There's not quite enough room to... Okay. Why do people 
become mechanics. I mean, they must be like... Get, enjoy being frustrated or something. This might work as well because this little thing bangs around in there a little bit. Well, I got it. Dada? Yeah. There it is. I hope that's the right one. Yeah. Is that the right one? Does it look like that? Ah, oh, shoot. I have no idea where that went. Yeah. That's, that's really wild. I don't, I don't know where that could go. Yeah. And have a place to go. Here's the thing I dropped. Does that look like the thing? Turn it, you know, can you turn it? Oh, there's still some stuff hooked to it. Oh, yeah, with the vacuum. Oh, so go under that vacuum chamber there. No touchy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. Dada. Dada. Yeah. Then, uh, there you go. There's going to be a gear on there, and there might even be a shaft that goes down and drives the oil pump. I'm not sure on this one. There's a little wire hooked to it. What's that? A oh, wire? Yeah, it's going clear over here. Oh, it's coming from the... Oh, okay, it's unplugged. I unplugged it from okay. the coil, right? Okay. Right? If you say so. Was it the coil? Or was the coil? Was the coil right there um, that you took off? There was this black thing here, the cylinder-shaped thing that All I right. took off. Yeah. That's the ignition coil. Is there a shaft on the bottom of that thing? Yeah. Goes in there. Is there a hexagon thing? Got a flashlight and shine down in there. I think that oil pump shaft may be separate. The cam, the camshaft drives that gear, and in turn, this. Um, if that's a hexagon shape in there, there should be a like a Allen wrench looking rod that goes down into the top of the oil pump. Yeah. Yeah. There's a hexagon shape. So there's like an Allen bolt sticking up down there, huh? Right. Okay. That's going into the oil pump. The camshaft is turning the distributor, and the distributor's turning that Allen bolt looking thing that drives the oil pump. It's all teamwork there, like an arborist crew. All these bolts have been easy, except for huh? that one was a little tough on huh, Jaden. Huh? So we got nine sixteenths. We got nine sixteenths, and we got probably half inch. Uh, yeah. got every bolt loose. Now I just got to decide, figure out how to pry this thing. tell me what to do. Well, I was just going to try and pray right here. Yeah. I, I tried that on this yeah. side, see? But yeah. it, it puts a little pressure on the valve cover that exactly. I yeah. don't really like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. as long as all 
the bolts are out Dada. and loose. There's nothing around the back Dada. that's hooked on, right? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Dada. Well, you just got, that's that red silicone there that's going around the front. It's just, that's yeah. what's got it held. Actually, it's all the way around. You can see it. Yeah. There's that red silicone. So it's going to take a little fright. You know what? I could get you uh, maybe a thinner thinner screwdriver than that pry bar there. Dada. Okay. Yeah, close the lid. It's making the right sound. Good. Well, oh, maybe you just hold on to these, huh? Well, maybe, because it's uh, it's cast iron. It's ooh, oh, what I break? Radiator shroud. Hey, dude. Duh. Hey, don't don't be grabbing onto me right now. Uh, you need to. Yeah, you're a little copycat. That's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. This is this is a terrible occupation. I, you guys can have it. Ugh. that I'm making underneath. What am I destroying? Is this something I need anymore? Because I damaged it. Hey, Dad. Yeah. This big uh, metal gasket? No, you're not going to use that. Okay. Is this? These are called push rods? Yes. Okay. So there must be two push rods per cylinder. Right. One for up, one for down, or something? One for exhaust valve and one for an intake valve. Okay. There's two valves per cylinder. One's an intake and one's an exhaust. So that has to do not with it going up and down. That's a different thing. Well, it goes up. Well, the camshaft. The camshaft pushes it's, it's, on. It's in the middle of the motor. It pushes on these lifters. These are the lifters. Those are the lifters. And the lifters push the push rods up and down via, via the... These are the things I hear when I'm low on oil. Yeah, they're hydraulic lifters. It means they are hydraulic. They have to have oil. Um, there's a little spring in there and a hole and stuff like that there. Uh, is there supposed to be oil in here? No, it, when you're it's, running there is. It's like blow by or? No, no, it's, it's flooding out of there and running back down in here from the heads. It's getting pumped up in there to the, to the top. Um, yeah, the camshaft is getting oil, the crankshaft, the rod bearings are getting oil. When it's, you know, when stuff is running, there's oil passages through this thing that supply oil to the uh, main bearings, rod bearings, uh, the cam shaft bearings, the cam lobes, the bottom of the lifters. Uh, juice goes into the hydraulic lifters themselves. And uh, the two push rods are hollow. There's oil that goes up them too, where they oh, go- Oh, wait, the baby. Where? I don't know, we lost the baby. So here's my stopping point today. Time has run out for this project for the day. I got the intake manifold off. Carburetor off, some other parts off. And I plugged the holes with paper towels and I put some 
rags down in there and now I'm gonna scrape wherever that gasket stuff was and clean that up and then blow it out and take that stuff out and then hopefully put it back together for the next video.